We're joined now by Tom Watson, the eight-time major champion. He won twice at Augusta National, two-time Masters champion, including in 1981. We're celebrating the 40th anniversary of that victory. What's your most vivid memory from that week? Well, my most vivid memory is the up and down out of the bunker, the front bunker at 17 in the final round. I hit it uh, in that front bunker with a wedge, I remember, for the second day in a row. And I hit a bunker shot there that uh, ended about five feet right of the hole, and I made a great putt there. That, you know, nothing but net, and uh, hmm. could play the last hole with a little bit of a little bit of a cush. But that bunker shot was the one that I remember the most. Yeah, did, it, did you feel like once you did that, that you had it at that point? Well, it gave me the cush. You know, when you have a two-shot lead, it gives you a little bit of cushion the last hole. Let me throw up another picture. Um, this one is is of you and Byron Nelson. Did you play in the par three tournament with him? I did. I did. I played with Byron, and I, I, I love Byron. He was like a father, a mentor, a, gr a great friend, uh, and man, could he play. But playing in the par three was 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 a real treat because we started off in the first hole, and then and then we he had a good shot in there. In the second hole, I hit a shot. I hit a shot about like this. I hit a, you know, it's a 60 yard shot and I hit a shot about like this. And uh, uh, and I said, you know, just, I, I needled him and said, top that Nelson. And he said, there's room inside that. <laughs> Where he proceeded to hit the shot and hit the flag stick. <laughs> That's my uh, for you. You had a, there was a quote you gave after the, after your victory, you said you were nervous enough to jump out of your skin. How did you learn to control your nerves to become a major champion? And, and how, how did that help you that day? Was there something that, that Byron helped in that process? Well, it being, you know, we all were nervous, uh, you know, playing in Augusta. And of course, when you're, when you have a chance to win uh, uh, something as important as the Masters, you, you probably put, you know, you have more pressure on yourself. Uh, but the thing is, you, you know, you learn to deal with it. You play under pressure all the time. So it's nothing new. It's nothing, uh, uh, you know, it's just a matter of the pressure levels. You know, the pressure sometimes gets up, gets up here and other times it's down here. Sometimes and rarely, you know, it gets, gets down here. But as Byron said, he said, I always wanted to have some pressure on me because if I felt like I was playing so well, I would throw away shots. I wouldn't concentrate enough and I, I would make a mistake. He said, I always wanted to be a little bit unsure about my golf swing or the way I was playing, because that, that made me sharp and focused. And, and yes, that was a, there was a pressure there, but you know, we learned to play under those types of pressures. You know, you get, you get very, very nervous playing. You know, Byron said he was nervous. Uh, you know, Trevino, he said, everybody gets nervous. Somebody says they're not nervous. I don't believe that. I believe that there's a pressure that you play under um, you know, to compete and win. Uh, that at least have a, has a certain level of anxiety that you have to deal with. When you see that, the the joy on your face there, what what, what is it? How do you feel just just seeing that photo of you in celebration? The R of winning the Masters is uh, something that you strive for when you become a professional. That's 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 one of the pinnacles in golf, and to achieve that, uh, uh, you know. It's one of the greatest feelings in the world for, or for, for, a, for any golfer.